everybody. My name is Perrin Arya, and I'll be doing the Ocean Zones for STEM Buddies. So I'll just quickly go over the materials that you'll need. So first of all, you're going to want a container. So you can use like a container of oatmeal or sanitizing wipes. And in this case, I'll just be using a water bottle. And if the container has a label that's like not able to be peeled off, you can always paint it. So in this case, I tried to paint a water bottle. It didn't go so well, but you get the idea. And then the next materials that you'll need is glue because you're going to be gluing on ocean zones. So the ocean zones will be using tissue paper. So we have different shades of blue, lighter and darker, and I have four different shades here. So these are the other two. And then the lastly for tissue paper, you'll need black tissue paper for the deepest zone in the ocean. And then you will also need ocean mammal silhouettes because, oh, I have this upside down. You'll need ocean mammal silhouettes because you want to put the respective mammals into their respective zones. And of course, to cut them out, you'll need some scissors. So, yep, I'll show you how to build it now. Personally, I started with the container and that includes the water bottle that I'm using. And for those of you who are painting your container, um, this is the brush that I used for it. And the technique here is to just brush back and forth side by side like this against the container. So it kind of looks like that. And it will coat the entire bottle, but of course the paint ended up seeping into the, like, the indents of the water bottle. So, but yeah, if you go side by side like this, you'll end up getting a good coating around the water bottle with the paint. Okay, after you get done painting your water bottle, the next step is to put on the tissue paper. So obviously you want the lighter shades at the top because that's where the most sunlight gets in the ocean. And then slowly as you get down, you want it to get darker. After you get done gluing on your tissue paper, it should look something like this. So as I said before, it starts from the lightest shade of blue and then slowly gets darker. So this is Ocean Zone 1. I got my silhouettes on here. And so this zone of the ocean is the warmest one. And it also has enough sunlight to get photosynthesis here. This is also where 90% of the ocean life is contained in, is ocean zone number one. The first ocean zone is called sunlight and it spans from zero to 200 miles deep. You also get a lot of life here. So for example, you'll have dolphins, sea turtles, coral, algae. Um, you also have a lot of sharks that live here too, which I got on the ocean zone. Some turtles, obviously, like I mentioned before. Uh, smaller fish like clownfish and jellyfish as well, I have one here. And I also have a whale because some whales live here as well. For the most part, anything that needs to breathe oxygen will live right here. So that's ocean zone number one, the sunlight zone. In Ocean Zone 1, you also have blue whales, orcas, angelfish, dolphins, and big eye tuna as well. Alright, so I went ahead and did Ocean Zone number 2 and 3. And for these zones, I'll start with Ocean Zone number 2, obviously, just to be in order. So, Ocean Zone number 2 is called the Twilight Zone, and that's because there's not a lot of sunlight here. And because of that, photosynthesis can't take place, so there's not really any plants here. The organisms that do live here tend to be more muscular and have rigid bones, so they're very fast, and at the same time, um, most of the organisms here feed off of either each other or the bits of food that fall from zone 1, the sunlight zone. And this zone spans from 200 meters all the way down to 1,000 meters, so that's a big jump in comparison to ocean zone number 1, which was only 0 to 200 meters. Some of the fish that I have on here include crabs, a sperm whale, eel, and swordfish. And I also drew on my own little octopus for it because octopus and squid live here as well. So also in this ocean zone, there is bioluminescent animals. And what that means is that they kind of just light up in the water. So for example, um, in certain bioluminescent areas, like if you put your hand in the water and just like move your hand, Dark water, dark water will start to light up a little bit, so it's pretty cool.
Next up, I have Ocean Zone number three. And this is called the Midnight Zone, which spans from 1,000 meters down to 4,000 meters. And there's absolutely no light here. The only source of light is bioluminescence. Some of the animals that I have in here, um, I drew this one on with a pen. So this one is called a frill shark. And I also have, once again, there's squid and octopus here, as well as starfish or sea stars. And this goes all the way down to the deepest part of the ocean, which is 6.8 miles deep. And that includes the Mariana Trench. So there's that as well. And a lot of the fish here are born with very wide mouths so that they can just keep it open while they're swimming and just swallow any food that's in their way. At the same time in this ocean, it also happens to be very cold because there's barely and there's no sunlight here actually. And it's also very high pressure because the deeper you go, the more the water pressure increases. So can't be down there for too long if you're a human. All right. Zone number four spans from 4,000 to 6,000 meters below, and this zone is actually below the surface. It's called the abyss, and that's because it's nearly freezing, and at the same time, it's low in oxygen, food, and nutrients. And obviously, once again, there's no light because it's not even above the surface. Fish here often don't have eyes, so, uh, you know, you still have certain kinds of jellyfish and octopus down here. And at the same time, you have angler sharks, which I believe this is one. And I also, oh, sorry, cookie cutter sharks and then angler fish. And I drew an angler fish and you can see that its mouth is wide open. So once again, kind of like zone three, it's just made so that when it swims, it can eat food. And that is the twilight. Sorry, the abyss zone. And the final zone is zone 5, which is the deep trenches. And this goes from 6,000 meters all the way down to 11,000 meters below the surface. And the conditions here is that it is freezing temperatures, a heavy amount of pressure, and it is very dark here. Most of the animals that live here are invertebrates, which means that they don't have spines. So think of jellyfish or sea worms. Um, so here I have a little jellyfish, and then I also have starfish that live here as well. There's a couple other types of fish that live here, such as sea spiders, sea pigs, and basket stars, but I don't have the silhouettes for them, so I'm probably gonna put them on the screen. I'll put it right he here. <laughs> and that is the Ocean Zones project, so I hope you like it.